Hello, R is an open source free statistical package for social and behavioral science and useful for wide variety of other sciences as well. In this video, I shall demonstrate how to obtain R from internet and once you install R, how to install packages in R. To do this, uh, we go to any of the search engine. Uh, I have Google. So I do R C R A N CRAN. Uh, CRAN stands for uh, Comprehensive R Archives Network. So I go to CRAN and I have uh, download and install R available. This is a R logo. Uh, I can install R for Linux by clicking on this. I can get Debian, Red Hat, uh, Ubuntu uh, kind of options. For installing R on Mac, I click here, then I get the PKG file. Uh, the DMG is not available, but uh, you can take this PKG, unpackage it and install it or you can install it as it is if you are not interested in packaging it or if you are most of the people are window users. So click on Windows and uh, if you are installing R for the first time then install R for the first time and you will get uh, a download of Windows which is a exe file you download this file and uh, just follow the standard installation instruction and install R uh, for Windows fine uh, once you do that you can open R uh, you can open R uh, since I'm using Mac I can look at uh, this menu or I can simply type R uh, and I, I open R then I open see this window of R is called console R console I open R editor uh, in file you have option of opening R editor or you can click on this kind of uh, icon and open the editor once you open the editor you need to install some of the packages r is installed with base packages you need to install additional packages for your purpose so uh, in in order to install packages for your science there's a very easy and simple way to do so so uh, what i need to do is i need to type following command install dot packages in the bracket uh, I put the name package CTV CTV stands for uh, CRAN task views this would install CRAN task views and uh, once I run this I can run this by uh, in, in Windows by in putting control R in Mac by putting command return and then I have to select a mirror uh, I can select any mirror of my choice most of them are fine for my purpose <clears throat> I select uh, USA IA mirror and uh, a package CTV will be installed for this particular session uh, the installation would depend on the speed of my internet as well as on the package uh, the package is getting installed the package is installed uh, now once the package is installed I uh, have to call the package for this particular R session so I type library CTV and again press control R in Windows and command return in Apple uh, the CTV is now called uh, uh, I, I get to know that because the command prompt has appeared here okay otherwise the error message would have appeared now uh, since CTV is appeared uh, I can use a function uh, which is written as install dot views in install dot views I have to specify my sign say for example since I'm a psychologist I would like to get packages that are uh, useful for psychometric analysis and psychological analysis so uh, there's a task view called psychometrics and then 
I put a comma and say dependencies is equal to true. Since I have done this exercise, I am not going to run this because I have already those packages installed. So if you are say interested in getting uh, views for uh, uh, say economics, then I would type install.views into bracket econometrics comma dependencies is equal to true and run this uh, where would you find a list of all the possible views uh, go to R and uh, just type uh, uh, task views uh, here there's a task views and you have various task view these are the various task views that I have to I can I can install packages from so this is psychometrics this is a small error that i made i typed p as small p i should have typed it uh, capital p and so is the case with econometrics so i get to install social sciences robust you can open any of these task views and find information about them say for example if i click on multivariate task view then uh, various kinds of options that uh, these packages provide uh, are are given here visualizing multivariate data hypothesis testing multivariate distribution and so on and so forth and at the end the list of the various packages that get installed by this similarly if I install psychometrics then I get to do analysis of item response theory uh, correspondence analysis, fact analysis in PCA, principal components, ACM structural equation modeling, MDS, multidimensional scaling, classical test theory, knowledge structure analysis, latent class analysis, paired comparisons, uh, Bayesian psychometrics, other related packages that are useful. Uh, and this is the list of packages that would get installed if I install these views. So all these packages are then available to me. Uh, since we are talking about psychology, uh, the package psych, PSYCH, is quite useful to me uh, and uh, this, this would be extremely uh, useful a package. And there are so many other packages that are there which would help me. Uh, so I will go back and say suppose I have run this. So I, I, I need now psychometrics analysis, so I type library. A package psych that has got installed uh, because I installed views of psychometrics. Now all the functions that exist in package psych are available to me. So what I can do is I can write help psych and I get to know what all this package can do. So this package is a package for personality, psychometric and psychological research and there's an overview of the package provided, the details provided and uh, then I have all the functions listed here that I can use from this package. Say if I want to do data reduction, cluster, cluster fact answers, I have FA kind of a command or Kaiser which is useful in normalizing um, my d data before rotating and things like that. So uh, I can open any of these uh, functions and I would know what that function is all about. So, for example, a alpha function in a package psych is useful to compute Cronbach's alpha which is used in reliability analysis, internal consistency reliability analysis, Gutman's lambda 6 which is also used in reliability analysis and then I get to know how to write the command alpha into bracket x. So if I, I have some data which is a data x, then I can run this command and get reliabilities for this particular data. I hope this is useful to you and you can start with R with this basic introduction. Thank you.